one if I can Then I gotta get right back on the fly And if it ain't no work we do a stick up And whip a fucking cotch And might leave your face down in the book Because hurt is not an option Gotta get some money back so great to see so many people on here this evening. Oh, would you like to meet yourself whoever that is <laughs> um, i'm not sure who that is hold on let me meet you <laughs> um right guys i'm just trying to find my screen for um for safari because i can't find it so i can't turn my music off uh show windows here we go right So good evening, everybody. How are we? Thank you all so much for joining. It's so great to see so many of you on here. Um, thank you for joining us this Sunday evening. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. Um, who's been in the sun? Let us know what you've been up to in the comments. Hope you've had a good one and stayed nice and hydrated. Um, oh God, don't worry, Jess. That's absolutely hilarious. You got, got attacked by a wasp. Don't worry. It's that time of year, isn't it? And it made me laugh. Um, so thank you so much for joining us this evening. We're very excited for tonight's call. Um, just wanted to give you all a massive shout out for being here. Um, Emma says, thanks for muting me, Mills. No worries at all. Um, we have got a really good call for you this evening, everybody. Um, so a couple of us went to the event yesterday over in uh, Gloucestershire. Uh, Maria and I travelled up there um, from Brighton. It took us about four hours to get there. It was a long, long journey, lots of traffic. But you know what? It was worth every single minute and every single mile that we drove. And this evening, we've got some golden nuggets from the girls. Um, and Ames and I are going to talk all about events and about why events are amazing, um, how to put events on, um, and just give you some tips to, to how to get started with events, because events are really the magic in this business. You know, when you get into a room, even with one or two people, share your stories. That is truly where people start to feel what we really do um, as the company. So let's see what you've all been up to. So um, been in the pool, lovely weather for it. Um, hey, Jeanette, lovely to see you on. Yeah, it was an amazing event. Um, congratulations, Camilla, on your two orders. So as well, actually, on, on that note, what has been your win for the week, guys? So if you want to pop a little win in the comments box, what you're really proud of this week, um, like Camilla has a massive, massive congratulations on two orders in a day. That's amazing. Congrats. Absolutely incredible. Um, Emma's been out with the family, sunning herself. Zumba class this morning and you pack in for your holiday to Malta. Absolutely amazing. Very jealous indeed. Yeah, Jeanette, cement between the bricks. The events are amazing. Hi, Mana. So great to see you on. Um, Christine spent the weekend at your parents. Hope you had a lovely time. Um, trying to keep the animals cool. That must be a mission in this heat, spraying them with water and all that. Um, congratulations, Christine, on your new teamy. Um, an existing customer for a number of years. Wow, that's amazing. Our customers do become our best teamies. And that was one of the things that they said yesterday that the most, you know, when, when people have the most emotional connection to this business is usually because they've been on the products and they've got that product story and they've had that change because we all know this product is the best that, that there is, you know, and if you take that for a long enough period of time, if you have a healthy, balanced lifestyle with that, you're going to start to feel great and you're going to feel emotionally attached to the products. And then guess what? You start recommending and you can be invited to the team. So that's amazing, Christine. Well done. And Emma as well. Congratulations. You've gone global with a team in America. Um, Elizabeth's been at the shows, the fairs, the market. Um, so many comments here, girls. This is amazing. Jess has been consistent building relationships. Amazing, Jesse. Susie have been here as it's your birthday today. So a massive, massive, massive happy birthday to Susie. Hope you've had a wonderful day, lovely. Happy, happy birthday to you. Um, yeah, I hope you've had some lovely sunshine like we have too. Um, Joe's been at work today. Yeah, nice to be inside with the air con. That's what I thought yesterday um, in the car on the way up to the event because we sat in a tent and it was absolutely stifling, I tell you. Um, so 
girls, 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 it's great to have you all on. So what I'm going to do, thank you so much for joining. Like I've said, I'm going to pass over to Ames just quickly to say hi. And then we're going to get some of the speakers on to talk about the event. So Ames, do you want to come and jump on and say hey? Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm really, really excited to hear. Oh, you're waving. Hi. <laughs> it's so good to see you all on. I just want to give you all a massive shout out for showing up this evening, you know, and tuning in on a Sunday night. I always say that these Sunday night calls are a non-negotiable if you're really wanting to grow your business because these, like, do you agree that these set you up for the week? Do you agree that they, you know, really kind of get you into that right mindset, ready for a new week? And I can really feel a difference in how my week starts by getting on the call on a Sunday night. So please encourage your teams to get on this as much as possible because this is going to help everybody. So massive shout out to you all for getting on here on a Sunday night. It's been a hot weekend. You know, you could have quite easily not shown up or whatever. So well done for being on. And if you are watching this on, on the recording as well, well done as well for watching it back on the recording and try and get on and show up live on the call on the Sunday. So really, really excited. And I'm so excited to hear about this event yesterday because it looked absolutely amazing. Oh, thanks so much, Ames. Um, yeah, I completely agree. Sunday night set me up for the week as well. Um, I think, you know, when you don't have that connection at the start of the week, you can easily just forget about what's important, what you're focusing on. And you might just hear one thing on this call this evening that makes you go, oh, God, yeah, I've got to do that this week. Um, so, yeah, could not agree more. So let me just, I'm going to pin the speakers. So if I pin myself just quickly. Um, so I'm going to tell you a really quick story, everybody, um, because I nearly didn't make the event yesterday. So long story short, I had some damage to my car. And yesterday morning was the morning that it was going to get fixed. And I didn't think that I was going to be able to get to the event because I didn't have a car to get to Maria to get to, up to Gloucestershire. Um, and I actually almost decided not to go. And I can tell you now looking looking back it would have been so easy just to not go because it's a long way it's a massive effort like you know to get to where I needed to get to and then to drive the rest of the journey um and I just want to ask you do you ever think to yourself oh yeah I'm just not going to go to this one to this one I'm, it's not for me and that's fine like not all events are going to be for you but if ever that you feel that you want to go to an event then I would I would literally say just get yourself there like events truly are where the magic happens whether that's one that you put on yourself whether it's one with the company sometimes the events need you and sometimes you really need the event um, and definitely yesterday I needed that event so going to that event was so so powerful for me um, so Maria and I traveled up there um, to the Cox world and we arrived and we were quite shocked actually we arrived at this building and we it was just not what we imagined there was quite a few containers everywhere the car park was a bit rubbled and holes everywhere and you know it just wasn't what we expected and as we went into the back of the room where the marquee was um you know it it, it just turned out that it really does not matter where you put on an event it's what happens in the four walls at the event wherever it is so even if it's your first event and you're thinking on god i've got nowhere to put an event on all you need is somewhere you can be in a coffee shop you can be in your front room you could sit in your car you know get your napkin out you don't actually have to have a certain venue and even whatever venue you've got it doesn't have to be like top class you know chandeliers beautiful settings I used to do my events my very first events in a squash viewing room and as we were doing the events the squash balls used to hit the top of the walls and you could see the squash balls and you know that's where I started my journey to NMD so never ever think you need somewhere specific to, to do an event okay um, so we rocked up to this event and it was in this weird little like wedding tent that was absolutely it was like a sauna it was absolutely boiling of course um but what I can tell you is that some magic went down there yesterday um so I'm going to pass over to Maria to begin with um so Maria my lovely I'm going to pin you as well um so do you want to just jump on do you want to just tell everybody who you are how long have you been in the business and just like two minutes about your story as well um and let us know like what juice plus has done for you and then give us your top tips on the event Certainly. Um, so I have been in the business just over seven years now. Um, I have a salon, so this is a part-time business for me. I actually said I would never join this business because I've already got one and one was enough. Um, but due to my love for the products, that's what actually got me to join the business. Um, simply because I wanted them to pay for themselves. And that was always like my first goal is how can I stay on them forever? Because they are that amazing. 
Um, and so that's what I've done. Um, I absolutely love events and do try and attend many. And actually this event yesterday, I nearly didn't attend due to the fact I booked it off work because I work on Saturdays um, as I'm a hairstylist. And I kept looking at my diary thinking, why have I booked a day off work? And it was only when I was with the girls the other weekend, they were like, because there's an event on Maria. And then I looked and I hadn't got a ticket. So that was a bit daunting, a bit scary. Can you still hear me? Because the screen's gone. Yeah, you can still hear you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so, so that was a bit daunting. I was thinking, oh my goodness, how do I get to this event? So upon talking to the team, loads of people started tagging me in posts to say, there's a ticket, there's a ticket. So I got my ticket. And there is a horrible feeling when there isn't a ticket. We always assume we can leave it to last minute and make that last minute call. But actually, it is a really kind of heart sinking moment. You prepared to go, you thought you were going to go, and then all of a sudden you haven't got a ticket. Um, so getting a ticket is super, super important because that's the first step in commitment to actually get to an event. And as it was said yesterday, say yes and decide how you'll get there later. There's always a way. So my first question, we've got 97 days until convention. Who is coming? Who has actually got their ticket? Or who has thought, oh, I'll do that at a later date. And then they've already been sold out. Um, so anyway, so me and Millie got there. Obviously, Millie's explained the story of how we got there, but we made it happen. And it really is incredible. Um, something else was said yesterday is there will always be something. There will always be a reason of why you can't get to an event. Things will crop up. And that's the same with the business. There'll always be a reason as why you can't do the business or what's held you back from doing the business, um, why you never got your DMO done. And that's the point. There will, everyone will always have something. Um, but events are the bloodline to the business. Events are where it happens. They said a Zoom will change your month, but an event will change your life. And so many of the stories yesterday, it was moments people remember at events, which were the key key points of um, why these people are still in the business, why they actually made an incredible business from, from joining Juice Plus. It was something that was said at an event rather than just being on a Zoom. So if you haven't got to an event or you don't get to events very often, then I would say making a commitment to throughout a year, how many events are you gonna get back onto? It was funny actually in my stories today, it came up to our first event, which was a year ago today in Maidenhead off the back of zooms and the energy and the excitement to get back together in a room together after having two years in lockdown and um, where we couldn't do them just goes to show how important they are and we can't take that for granted now that we're kind of a year in and back to back to um zooms so another little pointer is um i hate doing things like this with a passion it utterly embarrasses me my heart sinks um i just really it's one of my things that freaks me out and I always say it's down to my confidence and Millie and Shaf yesterday were absolutely amazing as they are and um they were so lovely and said such wonderful things about me speaking and I thought I just don't do it enough and that's why then it becomes a bigger and bigger problem and you talk yourself out of it and um, so when Millie said this morning do you want to speak on the call I said yes and I worked out how I'll do it later so I went away and then I planned but initially I thought, oh my God, I can't do that. <laughs> so that leads me to another point that was said yesterday, which was borrow somebody else's belief. So it was through their comments yesterday and things they were saying to me about speaking at events and um, I put on events at the salon. It was, it was those comments that really made me think if they believe in me, I can do this. And the person that signed you up into this business and got you involved does believe in you. Otherwise, I'd never have offered you the opportunity. So definitely borrowing somebody else's belief goes a long, long way because I could have so easily said, no, I didn't want to, but I did want to, but it's the confidence and it was that reason that was stopping me. Um, so they started yesterday with three questions. And these are three questions we all need to go away and ask ourselves. Who do you want to be? Where do you want to be in five years? And what is holding you back? 
So there are three questions that can really kind of get the ball, ball rolling in changing, changing your future pattern. Because I've been here seven years. Have I done, I've been, done a little bit here and a little bit there and not a lot else in between. And the point is going back to those questions. Sorry, excuse me, my dog has got a ball. Um, so going back to those questions really helps to kind of get back to the foundations again of starting from scratch, because that's what I feel like I'm doing now. And that's, that's where we need to start from, where, where you're gonna start from, where you're gonna go. Um, and when you heard a, like one of the great leaders say yesterday that if they won the lottery, they would still be in this business. It really does show it's more about the money. Uh, it's not just about the money. A lot of people do join the business because it's a business. Why do we have a business to make money? We're not doing it as a charity. It is a business. But when you saw yesterday people interacting with each other, the community, the friendships, um, the love, the support, um, the, it was just absolutely incredible to be in that tent and see it all happen in front of your eyes and really make sure that it, it really make you aware that it's so much more than just the money um because we heard some incredible incredible money stories but the passion and the love and the friendships and the community is really what was holding all those people and gluing them all together and particularly after saying this hasn't been the easiest of years this year off the back of lockdown. And as we know, we're going into a recession, things are gonna to get tough, um, but they're gonna to get tough for everybody. So because we know that we can plan ahead and we can, um, and we can um, build a business from that. I actually started my business in a recession. Um, and I do think that gives you the very best foundations so if we start now knowing that what they're saying about winter and things are going to get super tough, bills are going to go up, health is going to be a much um, bigger problem again and bigger concern to people again, it's the seeds we plant now that we will reap in the winter. Um, the richest man in the world cannot pay for a new body. That was something else that was said yesterday. I think that is so, so important. Because yes, we'll be going on about money because we're trying to build businesses and we're trying to recruit people into our teams. But without health, which is the foundation of our business, it, we are, have health products, um, it just goes to show. And a lot more people need to become aware of that because they'll become more focused on their money side of things rather than the health. Um, we're in the right place at the right time with the right product, 100%. Uh, and the last thing I just want to wrap up with is when you help people, our job is to help people help themselves. So whether that's with customers or with team, it's the same. If you help them reach their, reach their goals in the business, if you help them reach their goals, whether that's with health or in business, then you, the business will take care of itself. People will never forget what you, people will forget what you said, but they will never forget how you made them feel. That's it. That was amazing, Maria. Honestly, I'm, first of all, I just want to say, I'm so proud of you. I know this is so huge for you tonight, speaking on this call. You are such an amazing speaker. Like, honestly, like, just take it all in. Like, you've done it. I just want to, yeah, just give you a massive hug. That was amazing. Honestly, girl, you're, you're just so natural. Like, when you just get into that flow, you've delivered some incredible nuggets there. Um, you know, borrow someone else's belief. Like, just take it all. Like, you, you're amazing. And I just think there is so much ahead of you. You know, when you watch this back, you'll go, oh, my God, I, I am great. I am amazing. Like, yeah, I believe in myself. You're incredible. So just so insanely proud of you. It was amazing to spend a day with you. I'm so excited about what's to come. And yeah, just borrow someone else's belief. I think that that really resonates with me because when I first started as well, I definitely had zero belief in myself. Um, and it was actually John Holowati who kept saying to me, come Mills, get up and speak, go to that event, jump on the call, speak here. 
just come along here. And then I started to do the same to people. I used to make him get, get up on stage, put my arm around them and think I did it to Amy enough times. Come on, Ames, do your story. Um, you know, when she didn't want to, and it builds, it builds that belief muscle. So just a massive shout out, Maria, like you're amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, and just cannot wait for what's to come. So yeah, really, really incredible. So guys pop in the comments, what's your favorite takeaway from Maria? We'd love to hear what you've taken away from, um, Maria's golden nuggets from the event yesterday. So, um, those three questions I think are super, super powerful. So who do I want to be? Where do I want to be in five years time and what is holding you back? Like those three questions can give you a lot of answers. Um, so really go away and perhaps journal on those guys, because, you know, you can find out a lot about yourself from journaling. Um, so thank you so much, Maria. And what other favorite thing that you said um, from the event yesterday was the richest man cannot pay for a new body. I mean, that is so powerful so powerful we've got the answer and you know we've got the best answer for people so just thank you so much so um i'm now going to bring on the beautiful shafina um i know some of you have heard shafina's story before but shaf just literally um tell us how long you've been in the business like like two minutes max of your story and then just take it away with some golden nuggets from yesterday Um, you're still muted, I think, babe. There. Done? Yeah. Oh, my God, Maria, Maria. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Watch this back. Okay. Thanks for such an awesome beginning to this call. Um, okay. So my story. So I started, to be honest, I was friends with Millie on Facebook. We went to uni, did the same degree. Um, and then in 2013, I saw her post on social media about some money thing or whatever. I went to an event. And obviously, for me, because I came from a modeling background, I, I wore a shirt, did my hair and makeup, wore trousers, got there, and everyone was just chill. And there was a guy in a blue shirt and was just like, I was like, nice shirt. And then that was John. I didn't even know who he was. We both had blue shirts on. He went on stage. And I was like, oh, my God. Anyway, I got the product straight away. I, I And I was like, Millie, sign me up. I was one of those. I was like, I want the product. And she's like, really? Um, uh, I joined, um, I had an amazing, fell in love with the products. Um, Millie offered me the opportunity. I said, no. Then she said, just do it anyway. And I was like, okay, she's right about the product. So I'll just join it anyway. And then anyway, it was just like a hobby thing on the side. So I went to SP within the first 60 days by myself. I did not know I was meant to reconfirm. I didn't understand the business. I didn't understand anything. The one thing I did know is that I was excited. I was excited, guys. And you know what? I've, that was in 2013. Yes, I went SP in 2014. I've been here a number of years. However, can I just say, like, events make everything, like Maria said, it, that, that's what's kept me going. Every time I was, I went through a lot of stuff. Every time I went through stuff in life, I just, I was so excited to go to an event. Every time something else happened, I was like, oh, we've got a wig party. Oh, I'm going to that event. I used to walk on by myself, stay in a hostel. No one really knew me. I didn't really know anybody, but I used to always turn up by myself because I'd have such a blast. You know what I mean? And then obviously Millie was there and I'd go without people, but I'd keep showing up. And then eventually I'd bring one or two people, then they'd disappear. And it would just went on and on. However, events is what kept me here. One of the biggest things that was said on the call, uh, on the call, on at the event was everyone joins for the money but they stay for the community and the friendships. This is, and you know what? And I was like, that's me right there. I wanted to make some extra money, but at the time when I wasn't making lots of money, I kept staying because of the community and the friendships. It was my hope. It was my safe place. It was my one place. I know I can always, always be. It was the one place where people would believe in me and they still believe in me. It's the one place where I can be myself and, and I'm free. I'm free. It makes me so emotional as well to see Maria because like, oh, we had our deep conversations yesterday. I just, I'm so proud. And this is the thing as well. It's the one place where everyone wants you to win. No one's like, oh, she's doing better and da, 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 da. No one's like that. Not in our team anyway. We want everyone to win. We want everyone to fly. And like we're, Maria's not in, she's my sideline technically, right? But I'm so genuinely happy. You can like, you know what I mean? And like, you can just see it and you just want that person to fly as well. And this is the thing, like, if you haven't been to an event, you, you're you missing out on a big feeling here because um, there was someone that was having a conversation and they we and they said that, you know, they bought an extra house, right, to invest in. And you sometimes think, oh, yeah, properties, do this, make money, have income coming in. But they didn't feel like, wow, I got a house. They didn't feel amazing. They felt like, oh, yeah. And that's the thing. There are so many things out there. Everyone can go anywhere else and try and make money. But does it have the fulfillment? Does it have that growth in you? Does it give you that passion? Does it give you that friendship? Does it give you that community? Does it give everything? It doesn't. 
this is making me so much my nose is running it doesn't give you that anyway I was so inspired and if you guys know me I, I like music and I can't sit still I was jumping around and I was excited I had a couple messages on orders coming through and this is the thing like I said you just get excited get passionate about it on top of that um, they were talking about events so much I decided there and then I was like that's it I'm doing an event on Thursday <laughs> Millie's like this Thursday I was like yep so while they're talking I confirmed a venue <laughs> I confirmed a venue. I spoke to the girls on the table and they're like, yeah, we'll come down. Oh, she'll be here too. And they'll come down. And I was like, cool. I was like, I'm going for Santa Parks and I've got to get at least 20 people there. And they're like, yeah, we'll be there. We're doing events too. And I was like, okay, I'll come to yours. Yeah, we'll, co we'll come to yours and we'll talk to yours. But I wouldn't have made those connections or had that hope or belief or have this poster, which I designed about half an hour ago. It's here because I want to show you, right? I just went on Canva and this is like my Chai meetup. It's a, you know, it works. It works for my um, clientele and tribe. So this is the thing. If I didn't go to that event, there's no way this event will be happening. And then I was able to speak on the mic to say, hey, everyone, the event's happening in Birmingham. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And because of that event, this is happening. And this could be the beginning of many Chai meetups and everything stepping to NMD. And if I didn't go to that event, this wouldn't be happening. And the many events that are happening after won't be happening. And maybe Senate Parks wouldn't happen. I know Senate Parks is happening 100% if I told them I'm going to be there. And this is the thing. You've got to have that commitment and not commitment, but that belief that belief will automatically give you that com commitment, will give you that excitement. Will, like as soon as I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, SSC, Casena Parks. <laughs> that was the first thing that came to my head. I didn't want to, like at the moment, at the time, I didn't feel like, oh, should I get up? But I was like, no, SSC, Senna Parks. And I, and I, I got up. <laughs> like, so this is the thing. When, when you feel that, you feel the energy, you see other people and they were all um, partners. They were all SPs. They were all SCs. Wherever you are in the business, they were all that. This one girl told me she was stuck at SP for three years. And I was like, yeah, so was John. Or I think I think John was as well, right? Stuck there for stuck there for a few years. So it's the thing. And then I, I openly told her, I was like, hey, I've been on the product for nine, almost nine years in September. I've been in business for like eight years and something. It's okay. And I'm not NMD yet. And that's okay. This is the biggest thing as well. You will see big stories of people flying and, you know, um, going to NMD. But I will tell you something. Every step counts. Every event you go to counts. Every call you get on to counts. Because I know now, I know when NMD comes to me, I, I go as an NMD with a hell of a lot of experience, a hell of a, a lot of NM, uh, ups and downs. And I know and I understand the business and I'm still here. And Millie knows this girl's with me until like the Never. cycle. <laughs> I'm there forever basically you know and and this this belief in things does so if your journey is slower than you thought and things like that you're learning you're doing personal development you're learning things where people come and go and it's okay you're learning so much there's people that became nmd within a year and stuff some of them and then they disappeared because they didn't learn the lessons they didn't know how to um they didn't know how to understand fa failures or dips in the business they didn't know how, they didn't know how to take it and they think they thought they failed so this is the thing, guys, like if you've been here a while or you're new, you're not sure, you're not sure if you can get there within two years or three years, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You are growing as a person. The people on this call right now, none of us started this way. None of us started this way. Heck, if you're new on here or you're watching the replay, your Instagram is probably way better than mine ever was because I didn't even know how to use it. So you're ahead of us. You're ahead of the game. And also you're surrounded by leaders that have done all the mistakes and things like that. And we know a better path. Trust me, we were clueless before. So there is no better time. And yes, 100%, the whole thing. I mean, I had that here where we have the best product and at the right time, the perfect time. And you just, you just can't go wrong. Like one of the sayings that we had back in the past was fruit and vegetables never go out of fashion. In fact, we need them even more. So literally, um, I can say as well, something else was really, really good that they did share at the, at the event. And it was sharing their worst check ever. Okay. It was hilarious. Right. Even um, Dan and Harriet, they mentioned what their lowest check was, their lowest, uh, you know, commission. And they were actually planning on leaving. They were this X, S, Y, they were planning on leaving. And you know what? They said they thought, we'll just go to this event and then leave this thing. But that event <laughs> flipped that completely 180 and look where they are now. But if they didn't go to that event, that Oakley baby that they have now would not be having the life that they have right now or, you know, what she's going to have. Like literally, that is how much events can change your life. It, it can change your life, your family's life. And that's the other thing. What's your why? We had a moment where we all shouted out our why. Now, if your why is strong enough, you will not give up. 
And by the way, your why will change. And that's okay. If you're like, this is my why. No, my why is this. My why is that person. Oh no, he's an ex now. Forget it. Whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> if your why is your mom, who, you know, your family, whatever that why is. If your why is you, because you want something for you, because you want a life that no one else can give you, then that is your why. And that is your drive to get up every single day and get so excited. Remember, like uh, Maria just said again, people don't remember what you say. They remember how you feel. They make you feel. I know these events have made me feel so good. These people made me feel so good. I might not remember every single word that was said at every conference or convention. Come on. You make so many videos. Do we actually watch them? No. But when we're there, we feel. We know we had an amazing time. We know we had a blast. We know we danced with loads of music in a sweaty tent. And, but it was the best thing ever. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So please get to an event. I can't express it enough. Um, I've been here a while and I'm so excited for the future. And yeah, the best thing ever. And this, guys, we have a mission to share this with others. Let's not be afraid that we have a gift. If Millie didn't invite me or put that status on Facebook and I didn't respond to my message, I wouldn't be feeling this confident, wouldn't be speaking on this call, would not have this much passion in me right now. And I would not have my immune system, by the way, because the products are amazing. Let's not deny others of that. So when we're going in forward and people say no or this and that, keep going, speak to them again, follow up. That's the key. And, and just keep speaking to more people. We have a duty. We have some, we have a beautiful gift. Let's not deny others of that. Ah, oh, Shaf, that was amazing. Oh my goodness. Isn't it just incredible? Like how much an event can fire you up from the inside. So guys, if you're ever feeling flat, if you're ever feeling like you, feel, you don't really know what to be doing with this business, you need to get to an event. And an event can be just you and your upline. An event can be you and three or four people, or it can be a convention. Just stay close to the fire. That is something that they spoke about a lot yesterday. Like get yourself into the fire and that's at events. And I absolutely love that. I think it was Dan that said it, wasn't it? That a, a Zoom can change your month, but an event can change your whole frigging life. Um, so really remember that. And like Shafina said, if you haven't got to an event, there are lots of events coming up. Shaf's got one this, this Thursday in Birmingham. So if you know anybody in Birmingham, send them along. I'm going to go up on, on Thursday to Birmingham. I'm going to get in my car when I drive to Birmingham. <laughs> And we're going to do this together because like, you know, we've got to start somewhere, guys, and we've got to start showing up for ourselves, each other, you know, and the more of us that do this, the more of us that create momentum, then the more that's going to get started. And, you know, this, this wave is going to explode. So um, if you know anybody in Birmingham, send them to that one. And then there's lots of events all the way through September. Um, Shaf, if you could put that event structure into the team group, that'd be amazing. Um, and I'd just like to say... First of all, Shaf, like you have come so far. I'm so proud of you. Just thank you so much for being the energy. Like you create so much fun, excitable passion. Um, we were stood in the toilets yesterday, as you do, chatting to Emma Karen. And Emma Karen leant over me and she said, oh, she said, you're Shafina. You're the girl that, you know, you're always so positive and bubbly. I love being around you at events. And Shaf was like, what? What? And, you know, it's it's people feel your energy like Shaf didn't even realize that Emma and Karen really knew who she was. So, you know, show up, get in the room and it can change your life, guys. Like same same as like these girls, like events changed my life. So I'm going to give you a few little of my favorite golden nuggets for the day. I don't know how to follow that energy from Shafina, but I'm going to do my best. Um, so share it for me, Millie, so I can see that would be so grateful. Um, what is that? What am I sharing? Just let me like remind me because I've spoken about lots of things let me know um so roi what is the roi it's the return of interest where are you getting your interest or your orders and your customers from and then go and do that more it's really simple so are you getting them from polls are you getting them from stories are you getting them from being in the inbox like where are you getting your return of most interest from okay so run yourself as a business as well as running your you know, updating your stories, you know, mucking out the horses, going shopping, showing your food. Remember, you're running a business as well. And it's okay to let people know that by dropping your link to your shop when you're posting your products, okay? So where do you get your orders from? Remember, one of the most underrated things that you can do and the most valuable things that you can do is to add value. And people sometimes freak out and think, what does adding value mean? How do I add value? It could be a recipe. It could be some top tips of how to stay hydrated in the heat, how to help your kids get like fruits and vegetables if you mash it up in their bolognese. And it can also be humor. 
people find value in different things so if you know how to be funny be funny like you might have seen me and Stefan do Captain Goof. The amount of interest that we do from Captain Goof is unbelievable. We've got watchers. We've got people asking for Captain Goof. It's the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen, but people love it. It's, it's humor. So find ways to add value and put it into reels. Reels are the things that you want to be really concentrating on now. And don't forget, like a reel doesn't have to be, um, you know, where you've got a voiceover and you're showing up and doing all this acting. You can literally put five or six photographs together put a bit of text put some emotional music on and that can be your reel okay but your reels are going to get your engagement up um so think about how you can make reels you can also just film your day and put some inspiring music on saying have a great day remember to smile be grateful and be thankful for your life just something like that some simple it's going to create some interest okay um so have a message what is your message? OK, um, this was from Shannon and she said her message is inspire more women around the world to take more health and fitness challenges. OK, so really have a think about what message that you are like focusing on. So my message is all about um, helping more women feel healthy and fit and also falling in love with everything that they are. OK, so that is my mission. It's all about self-love. So really have a think about what mission you're on. And then that is usually the mission that you can go on um, and invite people to. OK. And then what you want to think about, do your posts on your social media represent your message? Are you posting about, for me, self-love and fitness and health? Does it all match up? OK, um, so the other thing that Shannon McCartney said was stop comparing because she said that she started to compare herself to somebody in the business that she thought was doing so well. She started to get less orders and less interest. And then the person that she was comparing herself to came and asked her for advice about how she was doing so well in the business. So you never know what's going on behind the screen and behind closed doors. So get your blinkers on, focus on what you're doing and be messy. This business isn't about being perfect. Take lots of imperfect action. Be real and authentic. OK, and remember to put your links on your posts. Um, so just moving on, um, one of the other things that they were really, really, um, they, they said a lot about was put, getting your ducks in a row. So getting super organized because we've got this massive wave of momentum coming. This wave of momentum that is coming is going to go, like it's just going to go. And one of the speakers said, learn to surf. You've got to learn to surf. Surfers don't sit out in the ocean and watch the waves come in. They don't watch the waves come in and drown and, and like bag, dabble in the water. They get on their boards and they try and ride that wave. OK, they ride that wave. And guess what? If they fall off, they get up and they try again. So you've got to learn to surf in this wave of momentum, guys. It's really, really like it's up to you whether you're going to let yourself paddle and drown out at sea or you're going to get on that surfboard and you're going to ride them waves and try and try and try. OK, because I promise you, you'll be on that crest. If you, if you start now, if you wait, then you're going to drown. You've got to jump on that surfboard now. Start paddling out there, guys, because we are honestly, something's bubbling and we can all feel it. Everybody's talking about it. So get out there, speak into your potentials. It doesn't mean like going inviting everybody to your business right now. Build those relationships, speak to people, ask them how they are, talk about the summer, get them moaning about the weather and back going back to work. They're going to tell you they're feeling bloated. Get them into conversation, okay? And remember, like Shaf said, lean into the business. When you're feeling poorly, take the products. When you're feeling anxious, use the self-development part of this business. If you're feeling depressed, get on some calls. The, the morning calls with Jeanette are such a great way to start the day. Use this business and lean into it. When you're struggling for money, guys, guess what? Don't, don't move away from this business. Lean into the business. Ask your upline for a one-to-one. -one. How can I do this? What do I need to do to make extra, extra money? How do I reach out to people? How do I invite people to calls? Like, that's all we do. Remember, guys, you're not trying to persuade people. You're not trying to convince people. You're a messenger and an inviter. You're not trying to make people sign up because like John said on the call the other night, don't be desperate. Don't try and make people come along with you because they're the wrong people. Invite and recommend. That is our job. I've got something you might be interested in. Maybe it's not for you. So when we, me and Maria were on the way to um, we were on the way to the event yesterday, we missed a service station, obviously for a reason, because we stopped at the next one. Um, we went to Costa and there was a girl at the, the front desk. It was absolutely boiling. There was no ice. Um, and we turned up and I was like, oh, hey, how are you doing? And she was like, oh, I'm having an awful day. Like, I don't want to be here. Guess what? 
hello, I've got an opportunity for you. But I chatted to her, we ordered our drinks, we moved along the sides and I wrote my name, my number and my Instagram handle on a piece of paper. I handed it to her just as I left and I said, add me on Instagram. I've got something I want to share with you. And I think she might have thought I was going to ask her out or something. It was very weird. We both walked away and we were like, she probably thinks I'm a lesbian and like, not that there's anything wrong with that. But I think she thought I was going to ask her out. Um, but she messaged me and I'm having a conversation with her and she's interested. So you just never know. You've just got to invite. You've just got to ask. Sometimes people are going to say no, but you know what? It's worth the ask because you might find another Shafina. You might find another Maria, another Amy, another Jeanette, another Liz, another Camilla. You might find somebody that is hungry and ready for this okay so never ever ever never doubt yourself when you think like everywhere I go I'm like I'm gonna ask her she might be interested and find people anyone that comes within three foot of you guys that's the three foot rule okay just really quickly before I hand over to Ames um so John John says stay close to the fire you will always be okay and if you're struggling just ask yourself when's the next call when's the next event lean in this business is your safety net You've got us, we're a community and it's growing. And I think the feeling that we have had for so long over the years is coming back, but with so much more strength and so much more love. Um, I'm so super excited. And just remember, you can do this. You can do this, but the question is, when are you going to do it? And what are you waiting for? Because now's the time. And, and like I said before, the wave is coming. So ride that wave and go in again and again and keep surfing and then um, I'm not going to say the next thing because it was a bit crude, but um, remember that all it takes is one golden nugget and it's the feeling, guys, in this business. So never, ever, ever forget that you've got this here for you and that proximity is power. Who you spend your time with matters. So remember, if you haven't got a very good community at home, a supportive community, this is where you want to come and surround yourself with. Get good music in your ears, get good self-development in your ears. And remember, expose yourself to the business over and over again, because the more you expose yourself, the more confident that you're going to feel at exposing other people. OK, just do the business, guys, because your life will get better. Your health will get better. Your social life will get better. Your fitness will get better and your priorities priorities will start to shift okay so decide who you want to be and give that energy and absolutely go for it stop focusing on the negative and normalize the ups and downs just when things get crap it doesn't mean you have to give up it just means you need to do something different and work a bit harder and dig your heels in okay think about what's in front forget about back there because we're going that way okay stop prioritizing worry and stress worry and stress and prioritize happiness, fun, excitement, and the potential of how much this can change your life. So that's it from me. Um, I'm going to hand over to Amy about, but she's going to chat a little bit about, about events, and then I'm going to finish off with my top tips about events as well. So Ames, I'm going to hand over to you, my lovely. Well, that was amazing. I don't think I can really add or follow much on from that, Millie, because that was absolutely incredible. And, you know, all of, you know, Maria and Shafina have been incredible as well. And I'm aware of time as well. It's like, you know, we've been on here for like 45 minutes. So I have got some notes and stuff, but all I'm going to say is Birmingham. Who's excited for Birmingham convention, right? It is coming up. Who managed to get their tickets before they sold out? I don't know if I can see everyone. I need to put it back on gallery. I've got myself. I don't know if I went big on everyone's screens then. But yeah, who got their tickets for Birmingham? <laughs> Woo! Oh, no, Susie's shaking her head. Well, you might be able to get one. Maybe someone will sell one closer to the time. But that is it. A thousand tickets. They are gone. Once they're gone, the company can't get a bigger room or anything like that. Like, that is it. They're gone. Um, I'm really excited about Birmingham. It's going to be incredible. So it's really about now focusing on Birmingham. What do you want to be by Birmingham? What position do you want to be? What, um, you know, how do you want your business to be like by then? What team do you want with you? You know, what are your goals for Birmingham? What are you most excited about for Birmingham? Like set yourself those goals that you want to personally work towards and really show up for that and just go all in now. You know, the time is now. Really, really looking forward to Birmingham. It's going to be absolutely incredible. And how like lucky are we that the company offered us the golden opportunity tickets where you can then offer the chance for people to join your team for free like how exciting is that? So um, I, just on that, actually, I did have a couple of team like message me and ask like, what, like, Amy, have you got any posts to that? And I don't know what you will think or whatever, but I've actually not posted about it yet. I've actually just been using it to go back to my like 
hot list and my people I've been speaking to and just been offering it to them. Um, I've got two tickets. So I've got already one has signed up for the free opportunity and I've got still got one left to use. And obviously, remember, if you did get the golden opportunity ticket, you've got till the end of this month to use it. Um, so obviously, feel free to post about it. Of course you can. I, I just have a post about it. I don't think I will. I don't know if I will, um, just because I feel that I want to really offer that to key people that I've been speaking to. Um, and I just think that's so good. Like, And the way I'm offering it to people is I'm saying to them, look, I know that we spoke about the business, but the first girl who I have signed up for it is she has said that she couldn't afford the sign up fee. So she I wanted to offer it to her. But I said to her, you know, I've just come across this, this opportunity where you can actually um, get your sign up fee back. I'd love to know, I'd love to consider you for this opportunity. Could you tell me what joining the team would, would mean for you? What, what would this do for you? And I think that's really important because I think with the free sign up, you know, you've got to remember that sometimes people don't value it. So making sure you're handing it to the right people and asking people like, what would this mean to you? If I was to consider you for this, what would this mean to you? Like, what would this mean to you, your family's life? What would you want to do with this opportunity? So I think really asking that, and that's what I'm gonna, you know, I've, I've only asked it to her because she's what one that has said she couldn't afford the sign up fee. And like I said, I've got one left. So I'm yet to go through back my list of potentials. I'm gonna look through and I'm gonna look for people that I feel like I really wanna offer this to. So, you know, I hope that helps anyone that's maybe got their golden opportunity ticket and just make sure you get them signed up for the end of this month. And um, yeah, so it's really, really exciting guys. We're so lucky. And I know that they could probably cover this at the event yesterday. And I love the videos that Millie put up of Simon Bowler speaking as well, which I loved. I was lean, listening to that whilst cleaning my kitchen this morning. And I think the company are putting everything in place for us now for the end of this year. You know, we've got the convention. We've got the, we've got so, um, Tropical coming at the end of September. We've got the new Amiga Plus coming. We've got um, Salted Caramel coming in November. 90s party, like, oh my God, how insane is that going to be? Like, I can't wait to get on that theme. Um, I think that we did speak about doing something to do with Spice Girls, didn't we? Like dressing up as Spice Girls or something. Anyway, and then, um, yeah, and then we've got obviously the convention. And so we've got so many exciting things going on, guys. So it's really, really exciting. So for me now, it's all about getting to Birmingham. I want to get to Birmingham with as many as you guys as possible and as many team as possible. And um, just keep building from event to event to event, guys. I'm starting up more Ipswich events as well. And I would encourage you guys to do the same, whether it's, you know, like little in-home Prosecco parties, shake parties, coffee meetups. I know that Camilla's done some incredible events in Denmark. I know she's excited to get back to doing them again. So it's those face-to-face -face meetings, guys. That's where it's at. So I encourage you, get meeting up with your team. Um, get meeting up, get meeting up with potentials, do your little samples, have fun like Prosecco, Bubbles and Business, have fun with it and it's really going to be an exciting time and with Tropical, I know we're real excited about Tropical coming back but remember don't hold off or, on anything like keep focused on chocolate and vanilla right now and then what we want to do is about a week before Tropical is due to launch, what we've got a date then we'll go all in on Tropical but don't, don't start focusing on Tropical yet, you want to focus on all the products we have available right now and closing out August and then getting September off to a good start. And then we'll worry about Tropical about a week before it's due to launch. So that's me and I'll hand back to you, Mills. Oh, honestly, Aim, like I could listen to you all day. Like you come up with the most amazing way to speak to people. You're just amazing. I absolutely love, um, I absolutely love that you said, what would you, what would this do for you if you offered them the free golden ticket? What would this mean to you? And what would you, and what would you want to do with this opportunity? I just think that's golden. Like, yeah. and then people, if people are like, I don't really know, you probably know that's not for them. Um, so really thank you so much for sharing that. And, um, and yeah, like regarding tropical, I, I would say as well, like if you haven't got a tropical yet, reach out to somebody that has and ask if you can have one, just so you can start posting about it on your socials going, loving this, loving this limited edition. Like, you know, don't tell people it's coming back. Like Amy said, but start posting about it. It. and you know you can start talking about your own tropical shakes like you know vanilla pineapple and mango you can make your own and then when it comes out you can be like, oh my god people need this so really think about um amy i'm literally beading right now i'm so sweating i'm stuck to my leather chair <laughs> um always do on these calls um but yeah 100 percent. like we are honestly this company they told us simon bowler told us yesterday they is it i think maria and shaft 
tell, tell me if I'm wrong, they've paid out six billion pounds worth of bonuses alone. Six billion pounds worth of bonuses alone, which is just insane. Um, you know, and there's there's so much more to come, guys. Like you can, you are all able to achieve that bonus structure, like to go up that marketing plan, 6.5 billion, which is like mind blowing, mind blowing, mind blowing. Um, yes. And boosters are control now as well. So remember to upsell as well. And don't forget, like my favorite way of finding out whether people can afford this product and like a product or, you know, a package is to ask them how much they can afford to spend per day and then how much they can afford. Um, sorry. And then how much they are spending on things like sweets, crisp, chocolate, alcohol, coffees and things like that. And then you can say to them, guess what? Like we're going to remove that for the time being. And that money that you're spending on that can go towards your package. So you're not going to be spending any more money. And they go, Oh, amazing. I can afford that then. So if you don't know about that, please go to the Feel Good Club team group. And there's a, a strategy system in the featured section of the group. And also, if you are not in that group yet, please get your upline to add you in because we have got an absolutely amazing video from Simon Bowler yesterday. You need to hear it. It's It will blow your mind. It's all about what's coming with the recession, um, you know, household bills and how this company has got your back. So please make sure that you've watched that and get your teamies to watch it as well. Tag them in it. And um, oh, Camilla, congratulations three orders in a day whoop, whoop, whoop. that's amazing congratulations that's absolutely incredible changing lives um so elizabeth says pineapple papaya passion fruit and mango wow that is an amazing combo um sounds incredible so thank you so much for joining us this evening i don't know if you can tell but we are really excited and you can see how events fire you up from the inside so please guys i'm urging you think about an event that you can get to the sooner the better september is full of events john's running events danny and ross are running events um i'm going to be running events as you've heard amy and shaf are running events so please make sure that you're either getting along to some or putting one on yourself it will change your business it will change your life so thank you so much for joining us let's get a team photo quickly before we go i know a couple have left um but if you want to put your photos on Turn your cameras on. Let's see everybody. Let's see everybody. I made it. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. That was a bit soon. Right. Let's see your best smiles, guys. Three, two, one. Amazing. I'll pop that into the WhatsApp chat group, guys. Have an amazing evening. Maria, thank you so much. You smashed it. Shaf, you smashed it. And as always, Amy, you're an absolutely amazing. So thank you so, so much, guys. Love you all loads. Have an amazing week. And let's absolutely make this the best one yet. So take care, guys. Thanks. See you later, Camilla. Bye, Jeanette. See you later. Bye, Emma. See you guys. Bye, Joe. See you, Maria. Bye. Bye, Emma. See ya. Bye, Christine. Bye, Steve. See ya. Bye, Susie. Bye, Elizabeth. See you guys.